Welcome everybody to another player review. Today we got the world class, yes I said world class, he because he is Bukayo Saka, right wing. I actually got him from the free, or not the free, the 15 coin pack. I got the player pick, um, the loan, and I got Bukayo Saka. Um, I, very lucky I got the 5 star skill one as well because I do want this one. I do think the 5 star weak foot is a very good option as well, but if you're into skill moves, if you're into having a little bit of fun in the game, uh, I love the 5 star skill moves. Um, I'm not the greatest skiller. I'm not saying I'm pro. I'm not saying I'm Mozilla or anything like that, but I do love some skill moves. Let's start with his play styles. He's got chip shot, power shot plus, tiki taka plus, two play style pluses. Uh, I love power shot. Tiki taka plus is a very good one to have for a winger. You kind of want, you know, long ball, whipped or whatever, if you're into that. Incisive pass, technical, flare, and relentless. So he only has seven. Um, I wish he had like, you know, nine or 10. I just did a play review on Socrates. He has 10 and it it actually feels like it makes a difference. But this card, look at the stats, guys. This card looks insane. Like, so, so, so good. 90s for all dribbling stats. Um, high 90s for all the passing stats that really matter. Um, I, oh, a long pass is 80. I guess it's not the greatest. But his finishing looks really good. Composure at 90, really good. Pace is really solid for Bukayo Saka. This card, I'm going to show you guys on footpin right now. Actually, let me take you guys there right now. So we can look at what to put on him. He's 3.2 million, so not many people are going to be able to afford him. But guys, if you end up getting him, um, yeah, this card is going to be insane. Uh, I think the best camp style is probably going to be uh, an engine would be okay, but I don't really want to put the engine because of the camp. The oof, this might be the one, guys. Dead eye on this card. He's already got really good pace. I like that pace already for me. The dribbling's already so good. I want to boost that finishing up. So he's an, an a menace, just a menace. That power shot plus, just destroying. 99 short passing as well. So I, I, I'm personally going to put a dead eye on him. Um, I guess you could put like a hawk. That's more if you play him in that striker role. I don't know if I'll play him as a striker. I think I'm going to play him on that right hand side like he is in real life. Uh, I think the hunter's kind of a waste. I like the hawk. I like an engine. Engines I'm okay with because it boosts like plus four to everything and he gets his pace up there. I wouldn't be mad at the engine. A finisher would be really nice too because he gets his dribbling super maxed out. But I feel like the dribbling is already so good that it doesn't really make that huge of a difference. I'm personally going to run a dead eye. I think get his shooting and passing all the way up. I think that's the way to go for him. Um, so let me throw a, a dead eye camp style on him. And let's get into some gameplay. I have 15 games with him. I'm probably going to play two or three uh, and then do and then finish the review off and I'll be using him during foot champs a few as many as many as I can I would like to keep this Bukayo Saka just in case for any like uh, Friendlies because I love Saka. I might actually put uh Bukayo Saka as a striker um, In like the second or third game just just you know get some goals um, to Get a little more action on him just in case the right hand side I don't do that, you know I, I kind of avoid him out there or not avoid him But I just don't seem to go down that hand that right hand side for some reason if I don't so just to keep that out there if you guys are wondering well, why am i playing my striker i think just because i want to try him out there he is first i mean the passing is going to be good with him because he has 99 short passing tiki taka plus ah oh bukayo Bukayo. Oh, Bukayo. No. Oh, the AI block, bro. I had him. I did him so dirty with that, with that fake shot. All right, guys. So I put Bukayo Saka at striker, honestly. Um, because I feel like at the right-hand side, he wasn't getting any play. I guess, well, the way I'm playing against this guy right now, I'm having to play super direct. And no way Mia Ham just missed that. But... I'm having to play super direct up the middle because I kept feeding Saka and I think he, he read me. So I, he's kind of locking me up. So I had to move him up to striker and hopefully I can cook with him like I just did right there. Ball roll, scoop. Oh, I didn't, I did it way too late right there. I'm trying out to like the little ball roll scoop and like, you know, the typical five star skill, like little things that everyone does. I know ball roll scoop isn't like a five star skill, but like everyone really does it. Oh, I even put him near near post because this guy's been moving the keeper all game. Bukayo! 
on the weak foot he actually scores a banger and this is the card with four star skill moves or sorry four star weak foot not five star weak foot so he actually banged that one in i think it's from his finishing his finishing is so high with the dead eye oh my gosh dude he's getting honestly bukayo is just so weak what's his strength it's got to be low because I feel like he, he can't body up anyone, like shield, the, like hold the ball up at all. Anytime someone's on my shoulder, he just gets bodied off. Bukayo Saka. Oh, I was trying to do the Drew Bellingham celebration. I forgot how you do it in this game. I think it's LBRB now, right? I think they just added it. If you have Jude, I think you just do it automatically, but. Oh! Oh, Bukayo Saka! What a goal from the youngster! That's world class right there. Getting through a world class center back and an absolute world class finish for a world class player, Bukayo Saka. What a goal! Oh, we're not done yet! And we're not done yet! Oh, I should have power shotted it. Green time. I thought I scored. Green time finish. I know he doesn't have five star weak foot, but guys, I gotta make that, or he's gotta make that. Oh, the touch was so bad. I did the right skill move, but just a bad touch to get back onto the other foot. Oh my God. And Bukayo Saka pinged this in from here. Oh, it's off the crossbar. If I had aimed it a bit lower, I was going in. I would have scored an absolute screamer to tie the game, but wow. Oh my God. Oh, Bukayo Saka on the run. Bukayo Saka's on a run. Oh, I'm going to count that as an assist for Bukayo. It was literally just step over ball, uh, ball rolls and, and fake shots all the way through. That's all you need sometimes. Hey, everyone remembers that Ben Arfa uh, skill run? Beautiful. It's all about the dribbling sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. Oh, wait. He's going to get another assist. No, he's not. But George Best is going to get his own goal. No, he's not. Oh. Oh, Bukayo. Opening up the space. There it is. Bukayo, baby. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, the dribbling. He goes on the outside. No, why was that touch so heavy? Come on. Hey! Bukayo, Timo. Oh my gosh, the advanced rainbow flick. Oh! Not the advanced rainbow flick, but the, the new rainbow flick. Oh. That into the power shot. That'd be a nice combo I'm trying to get. I should try to work on that and get that. Man, that was almost in. All right, guys, so we're back. I think I have enough uh, gameplay to really feel like I can give my real opinion on Saka. Uh, four games. One of them, the guy rage quit after I scored 1 0. So that was like an easy. I mean, it didn't. I'm not going to count that. So. Uh, four games, six goals. So I'm gonna say three. He's gonna score. He scored five and three. I'm really gonna say because that f that one game, like I said, that guy kind of quit after one nil. So I'll take and he's the one who scored. So I'm gonna take that away. Three goals, or sorry, three games, five goals. Um, the one thing that really 
I don't know what, what is it. I think it's I don't know if it's the high medium or if it's the high low. I don't know or sorry if, if it's a high medium. Then um, maybe with the high low he'd been a little better for for some reason. I I you know what I kind of messed up. I didn't put tactics on him. But um I think he was a little way too, he played a little too far out on the wing. I feel like he was always I couldn't really find him. Like I had to force myself to go down that side to get him, you know. He wasn't really involved in the play, I feel like. Uh, which is crazy because 91 attack positioning, but I don't know if that's what really why he doesn't do anything But yeah, um And he's very very weak guys. I'm gonna say that for sure. He's very weak only 72 strength Every time I did a skill move and someone was on me. I just the ball. I just couldn't get it I couldn't get past the player. I would always get bodied anybody that presses B next to you He's gonna win the ball anybody that does advanced defending which is really good in this game is gonna knock you off the ball so that I'm, I'm gonna have to take away like two points from Saka just from that because especially from this from this Saka He has five star skill moves. You want to do skill moves. You want to play and you know Do some fun skill moves and tricks like that Um, and you can't really you can't I'm start like you can't really do it like it's uh, honestly like I did some but A lot of times he would just get tackled He would just get bodied off the ball or he would just someone was yeah pull his shirt and he would just get bought Like it was just it was too easy for someone to get uh, get the ball back and I kind of didn't like that from him, so I'll, that's a huge, huge uh, knock to him, for, in my opinion. Um, now, passing, I think he's very good. Pace, very good. Dribbling, very, very good. Shooting, very good. I didn't really abuse power shot, honestly. Um, I played him at striker for two games. Um, I started him at, le at right winger every game, but he went to striker at, um, for the last two games. And... The one thing I could say is I I think in my opinion the five star weak foot would be better because I was looking I was thinking about it right in the game he has power shot plus power shot plus is probably more effective with a five star weak foot um rather than skill moves and his other play style is technical is a uh, tiki taka plus and that is also a skill move or sorry a weak foot uh, it's better to have a five star weak foot pretty much from those two play styles so in my opinion I think the five star weak foot saka would be better but still. Uh, this Saka is worth three point something million. So if you have the coins, you're deciding between the two. I would go ahead and get the one with five stars uh, weak foot. Uh, in my opinion, that's just what I think. Um, I think that one's even a little bit cheaper, probably 100, 200,000 coins cheaper. Still gonna be expensive, but if you have the three million coins for the Saka, I would recommend getting the five star weak foot one. That's the one. That's what I would recommend. But overall, is he worth it, guys? I don't think so. He's world class in real life, but I don't think he's world class in the game. Um, I just think it's that strength. I really do think that's what it is. He's 5'10". He has a good frame, but he's just very weak on the ball. I did not like that from him. I wish he had finesse shot. Even the regular one would have been a, a nice bonus, a nice added like bonus. I wish he had rapid. I wish he has quick step. Um, maybe even a uh, first touch would have been nice. Uh, I feel like they could have gave him two more play styles at least. At very least, they could have given him two more. But guys, I think overall, my review on Saka is a 6 out of 10. Um... That's just what I think. Again, the physical, I'm taking down two points. And, and that's pretty much it. This guy this guy could have been an 8 and 9 out of 10 for me. But physical is a huge, huge letdown. And he wasn't really involved in the play. I feel like I had to play my striker to, in order for me to see him on the pitch. So that's my review on Saka, guys. Let me know if you guys have the Saka. If you guys are going to uh, questions on any, any questions um, about this card. If I would recommend him over somebody. Honestly, Power Shot Plus, Timo Werner. I, I honestly, it's it's hard to say this as an Arsenal fan, but this Timo Werner is better than Saka. 83 strength is a lot better strength. Um, he's a little bit taller at 5'11", but he feels a little taller in game as well. And I don't know, this card just feels insane. I, like this, this Timo Werner card is crazy cracked. Power Shot Plus, 5 star weak foot, huge, huge, huge bonus for uh, Timo Werner. I, so, so I, that's why I recommend 5 star weak foot over anything. But for now, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.